all my bunnies and welcome to Kimberly K's Honey Bunnies Read Along. I am Kimberly K and today I'm going to be reading to you guys and I'm going to read the story called Rain School. The story is written and illustrated by James Ramford. Again, the name of the story is called Rain School. In the country of Chad, it is the first day of school. The dry dirt road is filling up with children. Big brothers and big sisters are leading the way. Will they give us a notebook? Thomas asks. Will they give us a pencil? Will I learn to read like you? Stop asking so many questions and keep up, say the big brothers and big sisters. Thomas arrives at the schoolyard, but there are no classrooms. There are no desks. It doesn't matter. There is a teacher. We will build our school, she says. This is the first lesson. Thomas learns to make mud bricks and dry them in the sun. He learns to build mud walls and mud desks. He gathers grass and saplings with the other children and they make a roof. Inside, it is cool. It smells of the earth. It smells of the fields. Ready for planting. Thomas helps bring in little wood stools. Everyone sits down. This is the moment they have been waiting for. The teacher brings in a blackboard. On it, she writes a letter. A, says the teacher. A, says Thomas with the other children. The teacher writes the letter with big strokes in the air. The students do the same over and over. Wonderful, says the teacher. She hands out notebooks and pencils. Page one, says the teacher. Thomas opens his notebook to the first page and holds his pencil ready and waiting. Now write the letter A. Beautiful, says the teacher, as she looks at the student's work. Every day, Thomas learns something new. Every day, the teacher cheers him and the other students on. Excellent job, she says. Perfect, my learning friends. The nine months of the school year fly by. The last day has come. The students' minds are fat with knowledge. Their notebooks are rumbled from learning. Thomas and the other children call out, Thank you, teacher. She smiles and says, Well done, my hardworking friends. See you next year. Thomas and the other children race home. The school is empty and just in time. The big rains have started. The drops come down hard and fast. Strong winds tear at the grass roof. The rain finds its way inside. The school mud walls are soaked and started to slump. The mud does too. Come September, school will start over. Thomas will be a big brother, then leading the children on their first day to school. They will all stand in front of their smiling teacher, ready to build their school again. The end. Hi bunnies, and I'm so happy that you joined me today for the story rain school this was really a awesome awesome story i hope you guys enjoyed it it's really about learning lessons and being taught that it doesn't matter what you have it's about what you can accomplish and get together so you notice how the kids when they went to school on the first day they didn't have a school they actually built their school and they were so happy and grateful to build the school because they wanted to learn so much and they helped the teacher build the school i think this is an awesome awesome story for kids of all age 
this is a beautiful story of learning and it's also being taught different lessons in life and lessons in life is sometimes when we don't have things go the way we want because you got to remember when Thomas first went to school what did Thomas say am I going to get a notebook will I get a pencil will I learn to read he got all of that and it took time he didn't get all of that on the first day of school but he got it so it's about also teaching patience sometimes you have to be patient to get the things that you want I'm so happy all my little bunnies came and listened to the story I hope you guys like the story me personally I love the story it is in my collection of books now I will have this story linked in the description so you can go ahead and ask someone that's 18 or older to purchase this story um, for you it's a good story to add to your collection if you're a teacher this is a good story to have also teachers feel free to use any of my videos for your online learning lessons with your children I will greatly greatly appreciate it just tag me and let me know that you're using it and I will be more than thankful and that's it. actually it's a lesson to me if I have any teachers out there that's going to use one of the stories that I'm reading for one of their lesson plans on their online schooling for their children honey bunnies all my little honey bunnies I want you to maybe go talk to someone in your family about the story that I read to you today tell them what was your best part of the story what did you like what did you notice in the story and just you know go ahead now what I did notice what if you have not noticed what I noticed in the story if you look clearly, some of them do not have no shoes on. So we're going to talk about where, Ch where Chad is. Remember they said that they lived in a country in Chad. Chad is located in Africa. That is where Chad is located. But this is a wonderful story. Add it to your collection. If you have more questions, then go ahead and just feel free to purchase this book. But make sure you ask a parent or someone that's 18 or older to purchase this book for you. Once again, it is called Rain School. A really, really great book to have. Other than that, thank you for joining. So you already know what time it is. And what time is it? The bunny hop. The bunny hop. Who can do the bunny hop, the bunny hop, the bunny hop? Who can do the bunny hop? Give all yourselves a big round of applause for staying seated, having your ears up, and listening. <laughs> Bye, my bunny friends. See you at the next read-along. Bye.